President Salva Kiir caught on camera staring into Jen. Paul Malonga is on Independent Day in Juba, photo, get images, April 19, 2018, Naimile Pedia, South Sudan's former Chief of General Staff of the SPLA, IG, turned rebel, Jen. Paul Malonga Win is on the run fearing for his life from an administration he defended through thick and thin. Jen. Malong, formerly known as King Paul, is now among the main targets for immediate assassination by Salva Kiir's government according to the intelligence of his newly formed rebel group, the South Sudan United Front Army SSUFA. According to a press release extended to Naimile Pedia, South Sudan's crumbling government has deployed agents and foreign assassins with a strategic plan to track down the former chief of staff with intent to harm him. It has come to our attention that the government of South Sudan has deployed secret agents and foreign assassins with plans to bring harm to the leader of South Sudan United Front, Gen. Paul Malongawin, his family members and associates living in Kenya, said Laldo, a senior member of SSUFA impeccable source has revealed to us the details of the plans, including the amount of money smuggled into Kenya via Loki through the Wilson Airport in Nairobi. The smuggled amount of money will be used for hiring assassins, kidnappers, and maiming SSUF sympathizers living in Kenya, the statement continued. In what becomes the new South Sudan Odeal, SSUF reiterates that their movement has enough details of those who are assigned to harm their leader and his supporters. The organization would like to warn that it has the details of members of National Security Service and foreign assassins assigned to kidnap, maim or assassinate Gen. Paul Malonga when and perceived to be his supporters. Luldo continued, If confirmed, this allegation would sound very similar to an earlier government's plan to assassinate or eliminate the former vice president, Dr. Rik Macher. Less than two weeks ago, Kier's administration revealed its major plan to assassinate Drive. Rik Macher Tenny in mid-2016 and that was to be carried out by none other than Jen. Malong, a once-power military chief now turned into an underdog rebel commander. According to government spokesman, Michael McQuayleuth, and President's Press Secretary, Ateni W.E.K. Ateni, Jen. Malong was given $10 million US dollar in one shot by South Sudan Central Bank in July 2016 to buy drones, weapons and hire foreign intelligent and assassins to track down drive Macher and kill him after he fled the capital, Juba. According to multiple sources Juba contracted the most feared Blackwater, a U.S. private security firm that was sponsored by President and the CIA to track down and kill Al-Qaeda leader, Osama bin Laden and other main Al-Qaeda operatives in early 2000, and regional intelligent to assassinate Drive. Reek Mater in 2016. Among other promises, Jen. Malong hoped to prevent Dr. Mater from leading South Sudan as long as he lives. He publicly promises in 2014 to either capture or kill Drive. Macher within 30 days, however, both Malong and Macher today are equal targets of Mr. Kier and his newfound allies. Jen. Malong fled Kenya to Sudan in hopes to reach his hometown to mobilize military support, however, a South Sudan diplomat in Washington, Gordon Bay Malik, claims that Jen. Malong is in talks with LRA leader, Joseph Kony, to rely on their support to penetrate to a whale through the Central Africa Republic. Read, South Sudan Army Chief Turned Rebel, in talks with LRA of Joseph Kony.